channel and here we are going to make a free hand sketch of this uh, uh, problem and as we are told here that the figure above shows the plan and elevation of a bearing support in first angle orthogonal projection and we asked to make free hand asymmetric drawing of the block making k the lowest point so uh, these are the views so this is the front elevation and this is the uh, plan and then the lowest point k is here and we also have it here so we are going to make the free hand sketch as we are instructed and um, so let's start like this so what i have here as i'm able to interpret it so we have uh, this uh, um, this as part of the base so this is the base on the front elevation and then including this rectangle as part of the base in the plan so let's get this a rectangle in the front elevation and also this rectangle on the top face uh, of the of the uh, plan so let's see how this can be done you are going to understand how i'm going to do so let's start so what we need to do first is to make a sketch of the horizontal uh, line so we make a sketch of the horizontal line like this okay so then we are going to so we are going to uh, uh, get uh, the lowest point k here this is the lowest point k so we must uh, indicate it so as the lowest point very very important so here i will write k here now so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to sketch a line in this direction to bring out the rectangle that we have in the front elevation that's what i want to do now first so we have to have this so and then don't forget that we have to sketch proportional to the given uh, the given dimensions okay so i will take this up then i will terminate this at this end here i will sketch a line like this then i'm going to uh, connect this together okay to bring out that rectangle that we see in the front elevation like this okay so we have this so now then for the top face we also have rectangle on the top face so at this point i will sketch a line in this direction and here also i will sketch a line in this direction so we have what we have this so at this point i'm going to terminate it here like this i will terminate it here okay uh, making sure that this uh, together okay um i will need to erase this line so this line is not straight enough okay so i will take it here like this then i will join this together with it so now i'm going to sketch a line in this direction so you make sure that this line is parallel to this line so you sketch a line like this and then so i'm going to connect this together so make sure that this line, this line that you have to produce there to, to produce there is parallel to this line so i will also sketch a line so going in this direction and i will connect it with this okay so we have what we have this now so what i've done here is that i've sketched this rectangle and also i played this rectangle on the plan i placed it on it so that's what i did now uh this part that we have here before i go on to produce these circles i want to place this part uh this part i want to place it on this face i will look at this part that we have here it is placed in the middle like this this is where it is placed this is where we have it so this rectangle that we have here is for the distance from here to here and this rectangle that we have here is for the distance from here to here and then this rectangle that we have here to here is for this semi semicircle that we have here with this center line okay so i believe that is clear so what i'm going to do now is that so i'm going to uh, sketch a line uh, we sketch a line uh, from here So sketch a line like this um, so you need your soft eraser, soft, soft eraser to uh, clean so very very important you need to have your eraser with you so that if there's any mistake as I did here so you can easily erase and then come here I'll also sketch a line in this direction so just look at the way I'm doing it okay so the next thing I'm going to do is that um, um, so you uh, sketch a line up like this and then you also sketch a line from this point up okay so at this point also you sketch a line going up like this 
all right so i can also do that for this um okay so now the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to uh, sketch a line from here to connect this line to this line here okay so i connect this line with this line then uh, this goes with this okay and then so this goes with this then i'm going to join this together okay so we'll join this together like this okay so now so with what i've done here i need to raise some lines so i'll be raising these lines okay so i will raise this so we're raising this So I'll release this one. Alright, so it's what I have done here now. So now I'm going to uh, do something here. So to bring out the features that we have on this part. So just look at how I'm going to do it. So for this rectangle that we have here, which is meant for this. So I'm going to uh, sketch a line like this so i believe you can see this then we also have something similar to it here on this side all right so i've done that so now the next thing i'm going to do is that i need to bring out this semicircle on this face so we are connecting this point and this point together so it goes like this so um, all right so i have that i have this one then i will also so we are going to have the same thing on this side so but this one it goes like this. just look at i'm going to turn it i'm going to so it goes like this So it goes like this. So you connect it with this. It's not going to this point, though it will go to this point. Uh, so but this is how it's going to look. Okay, so we are going to erase this line and then we erase this line here. So I will still need to so reproduce this. So um, this is what we have. So um, here I need to make some adjustments on this side. so we have this so the next thing i'm going to do is to draw the circle so let's see how that will go so we have a we have a circle here we have a circle here and here and here so they are holes so not actually circle so i'm going to so make a center line here so make this center line and then i'm going to make a center line here and also i'll make a center line here and this, so i will draw a circle on this face like this okay so we have the circle like this and then coming here I will also do the same thing so make a circle here like this alright so then coming to this side here so we only see one of them and a part of it so I will just do it like this all right so i'll just leave it um, 
so here yeah, a part of it so let me see like this all right all right so this is how it will look as we have here so this rectangle that we have here in the front elevation is this rectangle so you can see that the holes are hidden so that is why what we have here on this face and then in the plan we have the whole of this rectangle you can see i placed the rectangle there then for this uh, part that we have here it is placed in the middle that's what we have here and for the holes that we have here we have these two holes this one will be feasible but we can only see a part of it here okay so um as simple as i've done it here so all you need to do is to practice and do not forget that this lowest point k is very very important you need to indicate it so thank you and god bless you